Tesla just stated that it plans to begin producing Tesla 4680 battery cells at the Gigafactory Texas this quarter and quickly scale up to volume production by the end of the year. We all know that Tesla hasn't been able to mass produce batteries at the scale that it wants to, but it looks like the company is finally getting close to hitting that target with its new Tesla 4680 battery cells. These cells are a major breakthrough for the company because the 4680 batteries have 5 times more energy with 6 times the power and enable a 16% range increase. In today's video, we're going to cover the Tesla 4680 battery cells and when we can expect to see them in production. Tesla hasn't said much over the past few months regarding the manufacturing of its new Tesla 4680 battery cell, which enables its new structural battery pack design. Since the new battery technology is regarded as essential to Tesla's future vehicle plans, this has been a concern for Tesla investors. As the automaker began producing the Model Y at the Gigafactory Berlin using the outdated architecture based on the 2170 cells, and then at the Gigafactory Texas using 4680 cells, it recently expanded the production of Model Y automobiles using the outdated architecture at the Austin factory as well. Everything suggested that Tesla would have significant difficulties stepping up production of the new considerably larger cell. The 4680 cell was a major topic of discussion during the conference call between Tesla and analysts and shareholders to discuss the announcement of its Q2 2022 financial data. The car manufacturer acknowledged that it is having trouble figuring out production procedures for new cell technologies, like its dry electrode technology. When Jeffrey L. asked, when will the 4680 output match your original yield and velocity or daily output targets? Elon was quick to reply. Elon Musk responded that he believes Tesla will be in high value manufacturing by the end of 2022, despite the difficulty of the question. Additionally, he claimed that Tesla had access to enough battery cells to build 1.5 million cars this year. We are able to make a decent number every week, and I think we'll be in high volume production by the end of this year. It's always difficult to predict because it's a lot of new technology. What's the slope of the S-curve on ramp and accept that I'm confident that we'll get high production rate. But it's probably the end of this year before we confidently get a high production rate. But this does not affect our vehicle output. We actually have enough battery cell supply from suppliers to make 1.5 million cars this year. So it's not a constraint on output, but it will be important for next year. Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Baglino, announced that manufacturer will formally begin production of the 4680 cell at the Gigafactory Texas this quarter. Manufacturing lines were further integrated and we insourced additional content. For these reasons, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin, specific to Texas last quarter. Cell equipment was fully installed and commissioned, and we produced our first commissioning car sets of cells through the end of the line. Our target for Texas is to begin production this quarter and aim for Texas to be capable of exceeding Cato weekly output before the end of this year. Cato refers to the Fremont, California location of Tesla's current pilot manufacturing facility for the 4680 cell on Cato Road. Given that the company also revealed that output in Cato has climbed 35% month over month each month since March, the fact that Tesla aims for 4680 cell production at Gigafactory Texas to surpass the production from Cato facility by the end of this year is particularly significant. Tesla always intended to take lessons from the pilot facility's output and install more sophisticated and high volume manufacturing lines at both Gigafactory Texas and Berlin. So, do you think Tesla will achieve high volume production of the Tesla 4680 battery cell by the end of 2022? Or do you think the company will face even more challenges? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to stay up to date with the latest Tesla news, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we upload new videos every day. See you in the next video.